Well, greetings and welcome to Winter Alchemy Part 2. We are still in Capricorn season, so this is the second video for the Capricorn Winter Alchemy. It's Tanya Poole. Nice to see you. Nice to be seen. I know this elderly, I don't want to call her elderly, but uh, a mama in the community who always says, it's nice to be seen and not to be viewed. <laughs> I was about to say that just now, my welcome. And, but isn't that real though, you know, to be alive and vibrant and to be able to uh, see the people you love and to, you know, to do whatever it is that you do throughout the day is a blessing. It's a blessing to be seen and not viewed, right? Because, <laughs> you know, to be viewed is like being viewed in the casket. You ain't alive. So I'm thankful for life. I'm thankful for <laughs> joy. And I'm thankful for being able to do this video. I don't know where that came from all of a sudden, but maybe somebody needed to hear that. So flat out, there you go. Um, and I'm kind of excited because like one of my neighbors is playing an old Biggie song. So setting up for this video, I was like, Biggie, give me one more chance, Biggie, Biggie. <laughs> Okay, seriously though, Winter Alchemy, part two, Capricorn season, the second video of Capricorn season. I hope that you have watched part one. If you haven't, go back and watch um, Winter, Winter Alchemy, Everybody's a Capricorn, including you, because in it, I talk about what Capricorn is, why, even if you're not a Capricorn, even if your birthday is nowhere near this time of the year, that you still have Capricorn um, somewhere in your natal chart. And this time of the year, we are all being asked to honor and respect and and do whatever the Capricorn energy is asking of us. So in this video, it's all about self-care. How do we self-care during Capricorn season during the beginning of winter time. Winter is officially upon us. And if you're anywhere on the East Coast, you know we have been under some kind of deep freeze. And I'm in the South, but it's like <laughs> from New England all the way to Florida, we have just been having this extraordinarily cold weather. And um, the thing about this time of the year, the thing about winter time, everything is pretty much dead, right? There's no leaves on the trees, um, it's, it's cold and gray. And even when it's not gray outside um, and the sun is shining, you still feel that coldness, right? Um, also, it's darker a lot longer. Like it's literally darker. We have more dark hours, more hours when the sun is not shining than um, when the sun is actually shining. So this is the time where it's colder, it's darker, it's that um, time to go within, literally, we spend less time outside because <laughs> it's so cold. Um, and so that kind of lets us know what we should actually be doing during this time. It's a more reflective time, it's, it's a more time of planning, um, strategizing, setting goals, thinking about the long term. And if we were like living hundreds of years ago, we would literally be thinking about how we could survive the winter, right? So um, that's what this is all about. So winter alchemy, this second part is all about how do we self-care during this time? So self-care, um, a lot of times people think that self-care is just, you know, the bubble baths and the facials and the massages and things like that. And that's all a part of self-care. Um, but really self-care is anything that you do to take care of your whole self, your mind, your body, your spirit, your emotions. Okay. All, every part of your, your being, everything that makes you up. Um, how do you care for that? How do you care for your, your mental self, your, uh, your mental health. How do you um, manage your spiritual well-being? How do you manage your physical body well-being? So this, with it being New Year's, we hear a lot about um, people wanting to lose weight or at least get healthier, right? And this this joke about how um, all of the people who have New Year's resolutions to get in the gym and get in shape um, will be in the gym until about February 
and then they'll kind of go away and then the regular gym folk can have their gym back, right? <laughs> but there's a reason for that um, because we're all thinking about how are we taking care of ourselves? How are we taking care of ourselves? And if we don't create the habit, the long-term habit and better yet, the strategies and the planning so that the habit can take root, then things such as uh, eating healthier or going to the gym or whatever your New Year's resolutions are will fail because you may have had this grand idea, but you may not have had the strategy and the planning to make it come about. That's what Capricorn is all about. Capricorn, the sign of Capricorn, is all about planning. It's all about responsibility. It's all about no pain, no gain. Um, and it's ruled by the planet Saturn. And I forgot to say that in the first video, but you're getting it here. And it, oops, I think I got cut off. But anyway, you get the point. The point is that this is the time for being responsible, for strategizing, for planning so that our long-term goals can be realized. And so how do we self-care during this time when we don't feel like going out, when it is darker, longer than it's daylight, when it's cold, it's wintry, and we just came up with some new goals and resolutions <laughs> that we want to see throughout this year? And so the first way um, is planning. Um, one of the main um, attributes of Capricorn, and which is ruled by the planet, planet Saturn, is, is planning and strategizing. So if you know, for example, that you want to budget your money better, let's just say as it relates to food, or maybe you want to eat better so that you can be healthier, then you've got to create meal plans, right? Instead of waiting until you're hungry, at the last minute and then just kind of eating whatever. And now you've spent a, a large amount of money just eating out um, or you ate all of these calories or salt and sugar that you would not have eaten had you planned. Um, instead of doing that route, meal plan. Look a week ahead. This is the time Saturn and Capricorn always look and look out and plan. So look ahead and say, okay, what do I want to eat for the next seven days? How can I prepare these meals? Um, or maybe eating healthier is not your issue, but time is the issue. So if you plan your meals, if you cook in advance and then freeze some of it, and there's a lot of uh, YouTube videos and websites that show you how to do that, you can plan your meals, which will help you to save money, save time, and be healthier, right? So that same concept works with finances. Plan what you want to spend this year. What do you want to invest in? Is it your education? Is it your children's education? Um, is it that gym membership? You know, how much is that gonna cost monthly? And plan, or get a financial planner to help you to work that out. If money is not your thing or budgeting um, makes you feel like, uh, you know, like you're being penalized in some kind of way, find somebody who's good at that, who can actually make it fun for you. Um, cleaning, right? This is a good time to, to clean out the old. So how do you clean or what days do you clean? Um, plan that out get your family involved um, or work that into your budget. If, if you don't like to clean, but you can afford, you know, a, a inexpensive house cleaner to come in once a week or once a month to help you with that, then work, you know, put that in your plan. <laughs> make a plan, make a plan. And that helps your mental health, right? When you have a plan, okay, when, when we plan, it just adds so much more peace of mind because we're not trying to come up with things at the last minute. We're not rushing. We're not overspending, overeating, you know, or, or just stressing ourselves out. So that helps with our mental health. Reflection is my second um, self-care strategy for Capricorn season. Um, what is blocking your growth and success? Like really reflect on that. Um, are you watching too much TV? Are you hanging out with the wrong people who just have no vision and no goals? Um, is it your habits? You know, are, are your habits blocking, however you define success, is it blocking you from achieving that success in your finances, in your business, in your health, in your wealth, in your, you know, whatever is important to you? Um, reflect on those things and say, okay, 
yeah, I really got to cut down on this Facebook, Instagram time because it's cutting out, it's cutting into, it's, it's, it's preventing me from being successful or it's preventing me from spending my energy in ways that actually are beneficial. I'm, I'm draining my energy on, on um, activities or people or just whatever <laughs> that are not helping me to achieve my long, long-term goals. So reflection is really, really key. And look, it's darker and longer. You, you look, okay. So you got plenty of time to meditate, you know, <laughs> go within. It's not like you can be hanging out eight, nine, 10 o'clock. Okay. You can, but I'm just saying it's dark or longer. So th look, that's what alchemy is all about. This whole seasonal alchemy is all about do what the season is doing. If the season, if nature is going within, then this is the time for you to go within as well. Right? So fall right in line. And lastly is, is physical beauty is the, um, the stereotypical, or not stereotypical, but the typical form of self-care, and that is to take care of your body. Um, we all know when it's winter, it's drier outside, and people tend to not take care of their bodies in the winter time. Like people want to do the whole take care of their feet and and take care of their skin in the summer when people can see it. But really what you see in the summer is a reflection of what you've done during this time of the year. So this is the time to make sure that you stay moisturized and hydrated, drinking plenty of water, but also physically um, taking care of your skin and your body. Like don't neglect your body in the winter time, please people, like for real. Like this is not the time to just let yourself be ashy. <laughs> I have a thing about people who are, I mean, not people, but like being, okay, we all have ashy moments, but I'm saying though, like when you just ashy all the time, like people who just really just, and I'm not talking about if you have a, a real skin condition, I'm talking about people who are just like, just neglectful, okay? There's no excuse for that, people. Like when you don't self-care, when you neglect yourself, you're giving permission <laughs> for the world and for others to neglect you as well. So really, um, if if you're not receiving the attention that you want or you're feeling constantly disrespected or overlooked, sometimes you have to want, think and reflect and ask yourself, am I doing this to myself? And so I'm telling the rest of the world that this is okay on, of, um, on how to treat me, that it's okay to, to neglect me because I'm neglecting myself. It's the little things. It really is the little things. Failure to you know, take care of your body does send a signal out to the rest of the world that it's okay for them to neglect you as well. I mean, I, I, it sounds crazy, but it's true. So I'm going to give you a quick little quick little recipe that I do, uh, particularly this time of the year. Get you some good. Uh, this is some virgin coconut oil. Doesn't matter the brand. Uh, this is this is organic. But um, just get some virgin coconut oil. And coconut oil in when it's cold hardens. So that's why if you mm, smell so good. Uh, if you look inside, it's actually very firm but it melts very, very easily. So here's a spoonful. And even in my finger, you can see uh, it's starting to, like it, it melts very fast and it smells so good. It smells like sweet, like it's making my mouth water, sweet coconutty goodness, okay? So you get your little bowl, get you some of this coconut oil and you put it in the bowl Okay, ah, trying to get some more. All right, you don't need much. So that's just mm, two spoonfuls, I guess. Um, and then you get some finely ground coffee. So I have, um, I don't typically drink this, this brand, it's okay, but um, I typically, um, I, I like it because of the consistency. It's very finely ground. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very finely ground. And put that on the coconut oil, okay? All right. 
When you get in the shower, after you wash your entire body, you're gonna take some of this coffee, coconut goodness, and it smells so good, you'll smell like coffee, coconut, coconut cream coffee. Oh my gosh, that that just sound good? So anyway, <laughs> you're gonna take some and you're just going to, it, it's already melting in my hand, so you can imagine what this would do in a hot shower. And you're just gonna rub it all over your body. Now, I don't do this on my face. I have uh, an exfoliant that I actually use for my face, but this is really good for the body, your entire like neck down. And make sure you hit those feet, okay? You see that? And then you're just gonna rinse that off and of course, I don't have any water right here to, to demonstrate, but you're just going to rinse that off and your skin will be so soft and it'll smell so good. And you can still put your regular lotion on, um, on top of that once you get out of the shower, but it will help to get off all of that dead skin. It will give you some moisturization, which is what you need during this cold, wintry, <laughs> dry weather. And the more you take care of yourself, the more you self-care, there's something about when you do the reflection, when you do the planning of your life, and when you do the taking care of your physical body, that really does attract those circumstances around you to kind of fall in line with your self-care, with your self-care. So get to self-caring this Capricorn season and Watch the miracles happen. <laughs> I'm laughing, but it's true. It's just watch, watch the goodness happen. You'll be so proud of yourself for taking care of yourself. And, and the thing about Capricorn and Saturn is that when you do the work, even though it seems strenuous in the moment, when you do the work, you're so proud of yourself later because you get to see the results. So take care of yourself now, do the work now, and then later you can enjoy the fruit of your labor. All right, so that is it for Winter Alchemy Part 2. Um, in a couple of weeks, I will have Part 3 of Winter Alchemy when we're in Aquarius season, all right? So I have some very interesting things um, for those episodes, and I look forward to talking to you then. All right, I'm out of here. Peace and love. <laughs>